this is Naveel. Um, thank you so much for uh, your love and your support. Over the past week, I announced eight days ago that um, I have received this diagnosis. Um, this is kind of a scary disease insofar as uh, nobody saw it coming, not even my doctors. I will be starting chemo in a few hours, going to get a port placement. You stepped out in faith, you said believe, and if you believe, you will receive. Everyone could see your fearless joy, a trusting glance to up from his boy. Um, was praying that it wouldn't have to come to this. Um, was praying that the Lord would do something miraculous before this. Uh, he still could. There's still some hours left, but um, as it is, I'm staring chemo in the face. I wanted to make sure that you got to hear a little bit of Michelle's heart, um, because you know, through all this, it's not just been me going through um, everything that's happened since last August, but also Michelle. Results aren't good. Um, the radiation apparently didn't work too well, but what's worse, the lymph nodes that we were hoping would recede haven't receded, and on top of that, the cancer has spread to uh, more lymph nodes now uh, throughout my chest. The doctors have pretty much given up on treating me. Um, they think my body is in its final stages of life. Father, we come before you, trusting you even now for a miracle. Once upon a time, God from above came in human form to show his love. He was crucified, it looked like loss, and until today, most despise the cross. We can trust you, God, because you love us and you've adopted us into your family as sons and daughters because of the work Christ has done on the cross. Lord, I believe it. And I trust you, God. I throw myself upon your goodness and upon your mercy. I throw myself upon verses like Luke 18, 1, where I'm supposed to pray continually and not give up hope. 